I would like to give you some examples, um, some analytics, you know, some best practices. What we've seen from all the data that we're looking at um, globally, but also what we see what our customers, our partners are actually doing. So let's dive right into it. Well, as you know, Revenate has um, the Revenate guest data platform. And guest data platform means we have the Revenate guest feedback part. At the core, we have the guest CRM, all the information comes together. And then we have the Revenate marketing part where we use all the information that we aggregate to communicate in an automated, personalized, very direct way. So let's look at Revenant guest feedback first. Well, the one thing, of course, that I hear from Otoye is, well, Patrick, no one's leaving reviews anymore. Well, that's not entirely true because we've, of course, seen a decrease in reviews, but it's only around about 50%. So you're still getting a fair share of reviews. And why are these so valuable? Well, the reason behind that is that your guests are super, super sensitive when it comes to certain topics. I mean, look at this right here, what you see when it comes to safety and cleanliness, when it comes to the current status of the pandemic, when it comes to your you know, current COVID measures, all these things influence how a guest feels about taking a book in, about considering your hotel. So please still be on top of your reviews. And I understand that you might not have the full staff that you usually have, so of course, it's harder to be you know, all over the place and to make sure that you cater to any topic popping up, but reviews are important. And with a system like Revenate, we have an alarming system. We have a ticketing system. So the right you know, topics will be passed on to your staff, to the right person to respond, and please um, make use of that. If you then look at you know, the different um, regions of the world, if you look at North America, Asia, and EMEA, What's important um, to guess for their next stay? It's pretty much all the same. Huh? There are slight differences. If you look at the charts, yes, safety and cleanliness is of course the big topic, um, location and price, there are some differences, but the number one thing to consider, and that's where your great chance is as a hotelier, is that nearly 70% of all travelers that have stayed at a hotel say, my next trip, I am going to stay at a hotel where I stayed before. So if I'm planning my next trip to Paris, London, New York, Madrid, Barcelona, Singapore, Hong Kong, this does not matter. This is a global trend. Travelers will choose a hotel they stayed before. Remember that. Because with that, you have an enormous chance of keeping them informed, even when your hotel is closed right now, of what's going on at your hotel. Keep them informed about how you're gonna upgrade their experience for the next day. Stay in touch with them because that's the number one priority right now. Even when your hotel is closed and you're in downtime, do not lose your historic travelers. Keep them up to date, keep them informed, interested. And you know, there's a big word out there, it's called revenge travel. So people are saving up their money and then once they can travel again, they're gonna go big. Make sure they go big with you. So use Revenant marketing and communicate with your guests. That's where the real magic happens. So here we are, you know, in a COVID situation, no one's willing and able to travel. That's wrong. People are very willing to travel. And what we've seen with our travel survey, you know, around the globe, everyone is holding back on their, you know, vacation days, on their travel budget. They want to get back into traveling. So what you see here, this is a trend, you know, North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, people want to get out there. They want to do their family vacation. They want to go on that, you know, city shopping trip. They want to do the spa visit, like all of this, it's out there, people are waiting to do that. But the number one priority at this time and once the markets open up again is guest segmentation. And let this sink in quickly, take a look at this because this is what you need to do as a hotel year. Do not blast your whole database. Work with clean and accurate data and put your most important customers in the right segments. And depending on if they are you know, a loyal guest, I mean, of course you wanna stay in touch with your loyal guests, even if your hotel is closed. You wanna keep them informed of what's going on. You want to make them aware of the changes that you're doing to the adults so the experience when they come back will be even nicer. 
imagine when you're in a state where you know your hotel does open again. You want to make sure you target the ones that can come to your hotel, the ones that can travel, you know, within a certain month. Not all markets are going to open at the same time. So geo-targeting, very important point. And the other one is, of course, who are your family travelers? You know, who are your direct bookers? Who are local guests that will just stop by for a drink or a visit at the restaurant? Put your guests in the right segment and then start targeting them because it needs to be meaningful. Your guests are coming out of a very stressful, strained relationship with traveling. That is not your fault. That is no one's fault, but it's super important to use communication in the most meaningful way. So you target the right guest at the right time with the right message. And that's actually what we see our partners doing. You know, email volume increased over 40% globally. You know, hoteliers are sending out beautiful campaigns. We have seen that our partners have been using our services a lot more than even before. It is still a very effective channel, but it needs to be targeted to the right audience at the right time. That's what you need to be doing and make sure you work with clean guest data. And that's actually a good time for me to take you over to our live platform. And that's where I can show you how we at Revenate make sure our partners work with clean data, they put it in the right segments and they target the right audience at the right time. So here we are with Revenate Marketing. What you're seeing here is a dashboard of an individual hotel. If you're a hotel group and you're running your guest communication, your marketing centrally, we obviously also have a dashboard for a group where you see all your different hotels listed and you can you know, run your strategic guest communication from one central dashboard, one hub. What we're looking at today is um, this one hotel, the Everton Chicago. With this hotel, the initial thing that we always do with all of our partners, we are looking at what data asset are you actually sitting on. What I mean with that is we're plugging into the PMS, we're pulling in you know, all your life data, all your guest data. So you see here, that's the number of profiles. That's the number of profiles that actually have an email, a working email, because those matter to us. And then if you look further down here, and that's just the first site, you're already seeing how many of those profiles have a city, have a country attached to it. That means we can re actually get into geotargeting. And that's what I mentioned. That's what's important. Make sure you put your most important guests in the right segments. Take a look into segmentation now. So when it comes to segmentation, the number one priority here is all your segments are gonna be live. Any segment that you create is always gonna be live. Meaning you're not pulling a contact list, you're not pulling a CSV, and then you're trying to send something out and make sure that two weeks later you do the same and it's still an accurate list. No, with Revenate, these are always gonna be up to date. And any segment that you create with any of the attributes, and I will get into this in a minute, how to do this, they're always gonna be live. So let's create a new segment. I'm originally from Germany. So let's create a, um, a DACH, a German um, segment here. So I call this DACH uh, Spring Promotion Loyal Guest. So here you see all the guests you can reach by email. And now you wanna break this down to the location, to the status of loyalty, and the last time they stayed with you. So what you see here in this drop-down menu is all the information that we're pulling in from the PMS is all the information you get from the survey results, it's information from contact lists, it's all in one place. So the first thing, you know, in this case, I would like to do is say, hey, where do these travelers come from? And so I'm picking the geolocation. Hey, guest location, let's go within a radius around the hotel, Nope, I said, I want to pick my German speakers. So we're going in here and we're picking Germany and we're picking Austria and we're picking Switzerland. So now automatically, out of all those travelers, out of all those people you can reach, we're taking the ones that are only coming from these countries. Update statistic, you see, that's the number of travelers you can reach from those countries. The next would be, they should be some sort of loyal. Huh? So you want to pick the ones that stayed with you certain number of nights, spent a certain amount in the past, or had a certain number of stays. Hey, I'm going down here, I'm seeing the stays. At least three stays. Now we're combining location and number of stays. And then maybe to even be more specific, you wanna take the ones that stayed with you in the last year, 
and you know not the ones that stay with you five years ago so they should have been recent visitors so now you're going down here and you see there's an enormous amount of attributes that we can combine it's very easy to do with an and or functionality but let's go further down you know we're skipping the booking channel we're skipping the booking lead term we're getting into the check-in date so the check-in date should be after and now i can pick a specific date and i will pick the 31st December of 2019. So they stay with you last year or this year. And then very easily I click on create and there's my new segment. So now you have a you know, laser focused segment of your German speaking travelers that stay with you at least three times and that have stayed with you, you know, after the 31st of December, 2019. Here, actually, you have the list of all those travelers. You could actually you know, even go into detail. Let's not do that now. Let me show you how easy it is to then send the proper meaningful communication to them. You don't want to send a birthday campaign. You don't want to send them a we miss you campaign. What you want to do is you want to send them an announcement. I click on this. I say, hey, this is my spring promotion for my German speakers. You click on next. And then here, you will have all your templates. What I mean with all your templates is that you know, we have for every single step of the guest journey, you already have a set of templates that we offer you. In the setup process, we're gonna fully customize those, you know, so they're all gonna be in your look and feel. So you pick one of those, you know, then you go in here, you customize it. Spring in Amsterdam, that's where I am based. You go in here. You pick a different picture, you know, you can update the text, all of that. It's a drag and drop um, content builder. It's super easy to do. And then on the next step, again, you're gonna see how does this render on any email client, if it's on the mobile, if it's on the Hotmail, the Yahoo, the Google, the Outlook, the Gmail. We make sure everything looks proper. And then you see the segment that you picked, that you created and immediately you can click on next. You can set the time when this should go out and we're sending out your campaign. That's how easy it is from the start, we're pulling in the data to the proper segmentation, to picking the segment you wanna communicate with, to creating a meaningful communication and sending it out to the right people at the right time. That's what Revenant Marketing is all about. And now I'd like to pass it on to my two colleagues, Jason and Karen to pick it up or I left you with revenue marketing. Thank you. If you require, would like to have a proper, you know, going deeper into details presentation of this, reach out to me, patrick at revenue.com. Thank you.